There's a 2022 Sabre. Let us know in chat why I mentioned, why I call that Sabre. If you know, then uh, you can be my best friend. Why am I pronouncing it Sabre? Where did I get that from? Do you have anything to do with your intelligence level? <laughs> what? What? Uh, so is this a park model? I can't tell. I... No, I no, believe no, it is a fifth okay. wheel. I don't know why I thought it was. Uh, this is the uh, Sabre 37 FBT price. 53,963 or 415 a month. Mm -hmm. uh, Sabre's made by Forest River. I learned something really cool today about Forest River. Uh, if we can pause, I'm going to share it. They do a thing called, um, uh, well, I don't know. I don't remember the name. But anyways. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a good story. It was very impressive. Now, what they do, though, it, it's really cool. From every RV that they sell, I think it's called Care Camp. Uh -huh. There's camps across the U.S. where kids can go get cancer treatment wow. instead of being in a hospital uh -huh. they go to these camps and they're playing and having fun and and doing adventurous things and anything that their little bodies can handle uh -huh. but they're getting their um cancer treatments there right. and they say the success rate is like phenomenal rather than wow. you know them going to a hospital and laying in a bed yeah yeah uh, or them getting a treatment going home and and you know because as parents we're pretty overprotective right here they take a treatment they go out and play wow that's you know amazing. And just have a great time but forest river donates to that camp every time that someone uh buys an rv and they just announced today they gave away over a million dollars last year for that to help pay for kids to go to those camps that's amazing. we got to find out what that camp's called yeah that's we amazing. do it's right if we could get tim to walk over it's right there on the door on a sticker yeah. But he's not listening he's not to your eye. It's you know, he's got a, a face for radio and he doesn't listen. Right, right. All right, hey, so we inside how how dangerous it is. I think I feel like it's dangerous to have a floor uh, floor fan like that. Yeah. You have to be quick on your feet. Yeah. Um, it's kinda like hopscotch. Right. But with extreme consequences. All right, we're getting right inside it. Here we go. We're going inside. We're not even discussing the floor plan. <laughs> All right, so if you look around, tons of seating in that living room. We're going straight back to the uh, rear kitchen, though, uh -huh. uh, which you don't see a ton of, right? Right. you got quite a bit of cabinet space. You have an enormous refrigerator on the right-hand side. That would be a residential refrigerator, same type of refrigerator folks have at home. And you have a huge pantry. I mean, uh, the, the cabinetry looks amazing. It does. It, it's yeah. it's uh, residential cabinetry. You know, you can tell you'd be happy to have it in your home. Right, absolutely. Of course, I'd just be happy to have a home, but that's another story. Absolutely. So beautiful backsplash, too, just uh, very, very well pointed, uh, really well thought out. You know, and for the Sabre this year, they had a team of um, interior decorators mm -hmm. and designers that worked together, and you can tell. Yeah. I mean, they, yeah. they, they hit a home run for sure. The floor is really incredible. Yeah, I think it's smart bringing in designers like that. Yeah, you know, they know what they're doing. Otherwise, you got a bunch of men trying to do the thing. Right, and, right. Yeah. And we're not always the smartest creatures. <laughs> All right, there we go, looking from the kitchen back out towards the living area. Yeah, so you can see how big that living area is. Lots of seating there. You mentioned that, but there is a lot of seating there. We'll no, come back to the kitchen for a minute. They're really, well, it's so nice we wanted to come back. <laughs> uh, there's more staying. of the pantry. We're staying in the kitchen. It's so beautiful. There's the kitchen countertops. Whoever shot this really liked the kitchen. They really liked the kitchen. <laughs> here we go. Now watch us buzz through here. Oh, thank you for stopping. All right. So you've got three sofas. Yep. That's pretty impressive in itself. Two of them are sleeper sofas, so again, you can put a small army in this thing. But you know, three sofas—that's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. uh, huge TV. I forget the size, but it's it's a massive television. Uh, now, on this one, they put the fan on the ceiling and uh, deleted it off the floor. Okay, that's nice. That I feel like that's a lot better. Yeah, okay. and there is a, a nice fireplace too in this coach. Uh huh. And you know, you'd be surprised how many people live in them in the winter. Oh yeah, I can imagine. You know. And right there, you got a freestanding dinette. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yep, hardwood. And, uh, and that logo on that table is phenomenal. Oh, look at that. It look looks really that. nice. RVW. Yeah, I, I really like so, that. So, uh, of course, there's the dinette next to the sofa. There's a second sofa, and yeah. it's directly Fireplace. across. Fireplace. Directly across from the TV is exactly. the third sofa. Yeah, now Some we should be. Uh, yep, now we should be headed into the uh, bedroom. Yep. Large king bed. You've got storage up front, a big walk-in closet type, uh, which you can also put a washer dryer, which a lot of people like. And I, I did I say washer or washer? I think you said washer. Yeah, I do that a lot. Yeah. I say Washington as yeah. well, and it kind of confuses people. 
Looks like we're heading back to the big old bathroom in the back. I'm kind of excited to Look see behind it. Behind me, there's the. There it oh, is. I see. Wait, is that up front? What's that? Oh, that was. That's nice. What's that? Where was that? Was that in front of the bed? I didn't hear what you said. Is that the front of the trailer? Yes, I think this is the front. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah. I hadn't even noticed that. So there's the closet with the, some space for the yeah, shoes. Yeah, tons of storage, shoe storage. So that is, this is in front of the bedroom, his or her sinks. Yep. And it is just two sinks. That's a mm -hmm. mirror next to it. That's not four sinks in that bathroom. Yeah, you would need four. Four is too many. If you have four people in your bathroom, it's going to get just weird. It's be weird. Yeah, it's be beautiful weird. Uh, residential shower. Uh, of course, porcelain toilet. You don't want plastic and something this nice. Right. Now we're going back into the master again with um, king size bed, which is not real uh, common in an RV. Look at the second bathroom here. Yeah, and this is for the guests. You know, they're going to be slumming it a little bit, but that's all right. Yeah. Uh, only one sink and a toilet. Yeah. It took us a while to, to uh, kind of pan down to that. Again, more storage. There's storage all over in this thing. Tons of storage on the outside, tons of storage underneath. But what's really cool is uh -huh. we have an RV with a half bath. Right. So your visitors, and everybody has visitors, they're not on your toilet. Yeah. They're not using your toilet. They're not in your bathroom. Right. And that's kind of a big deal. For me, it's a big deal. Is it yeah. a big deal for you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I love people that really don't want you on my toilet. Right. I mean, the, a warm toilet seat is bittersweet. Oh, that's terrible. I mean, it's yeah, warm. That really is. The only thing worse than that is when you go to Ohio Stadium and there's a trough. The what? The trough. Oh, yeah, that's awful. Women Just, don't know what we they have to know, They through. have no idea what we deal with Yeah, yeah on a daily Just basis. Weird. Being a man is so tough. <laughs> All right. So uh, I, I think that's probably everything. Are we running yeah. through any more of that, Josh? We got anything else to run through there? Is that the end of the video? And again, four fifteen a month. If you like it, if you want it, give us a call. We can uh, get one on order for you. Uh, and again, if you want to camp in 2022, now is the time to place an order. Some people are like, you're crazy. That's just a sales tactic. Mm -hmm. I promise you it's not. If you, if you count uh, stock units on order and retail solds on order, the factories are already through next year. Wow. So you can say, oh, well, then how do I get mine if I order now? Well, because they build retail sold units before they build stock, stock. units, right? Mm -hmm. So you still, there's, there's space next year. But if you, want, if you want to camp next year, you need to get an, an RV on order now. Okay. okay. And, of course, we mentioned it all day, you lock in the price. Yeah, price. and with my extreme weight issues, this trailer looks really cheap. See that? <laughs> like... All right, coming up this hour, we've got a Catalina Summit Series. A Puma is coming up, travel trailer. Yep. And a Cherokee and a Columbus, what is it? Columbus Sea Series. Oh, all coming up this nice. hour. So we still have at least four more. How many do we have all day? We still have. We've had a bunch. We still have a lot to get through. All right. So uh, we got more RVs for you. So here's the Catalina right now. Let's get right into it.